welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss uh, a JavaScript new concept called modules. Okay, so let's make it here. Modules. So what is exactly modules? Module means if you can design, uh, I mean, if you can divide your application into various modules, the various, uh, as a separate uh, building blocks for your application. Imagine, last class we discussed classes and subclasses right if you can recollect we have taken three classes right we have taken first person class and sorry um, we have taken person class and we have employee class and uh, customer class right so two classes two subclasses which is extending from the parent class but thing is all the three classes and three classes logic we have written inside of one single function i mean one single file called app.js right but in real world in real time if you want to develop a complex application using javascript if you want to develop such application a bigger application if you write everything inside a single file how it could be it's something like uh, you know in our house we have a various partition right we have a kitchen separate, bathroom separate, bedroom separate like that. Just imagine, uh, can you keep everything in a single hall? Kitchen item, bathroom item, bedroom items in a hall. You can't even imagine, right? Same story in programming also. Thing is, I have, I want to create a separate JavaScript file for person class. Okay. And a separate JavaScript file for um, employee class a first person separate javascript file for customer class and i want to use all those uh, javascript classes in some other file so if you want to divide okay so your application generally uh, any uh, complex application if you want to develop so we can resolve the complexity by dividing the application rules into separate separate files separate separate javascript files and we can call all together uh, however you want in uh, processing logic okay so how to divide them together and how to how can you call uh, one class uh, function from another class and which is there in some other javascript file is the concept called modules and this beautiful concept which is given even advanced version of javascript so let's see how to achieve modules so in this nothing new we're going to discuss uh, i mean no new classes same existing classes as we have discussed uh, in the earlier class like uh, uh, the those classes like a, a person class employee and customer same thing we're going to convert them like a modules so let's see here uh, first of all i wanted uh, the folder structure so i'll just copy our first folder i'll paste it so let's make i think it is uh, one second huh? 29 over let's make it 30 30 underscore js underscore modules okay so here let's modify the heading modules and this is also modules okay uh, let me open this in a browser um, refresh modules let me inspect console yep um, fine now here I want to create a separate files for each class okay uh, so what i do is uh, i create a separate folder separate directory called uh, persons in that i create one javascript file called uh, um, person dot js okay next i create another folder called uh, employees in this i gonna create another JavaScript file called employee. Okay. Oh, sorry. I this make uh, an uppercase. Um, Blade.js. Yeah. And let's create. I think I made it. Uh, actually, I just make it as lowercase. Okay. So folder name lowercase and uh, uh, file name uppercase. Okay. Uh, I create another one. Uh, this one customers. Customers, what happened? A new directory customers, 
inside i gonna create a new uh, the say file call customer okay man now in person i want to create a person class here employee class here customer class so in person i just grab the uh, the person class from copy that and i just paste it here okay um in the module concept if you can write this class over here we can only access this class in this file only but if you want to access this class outside we have two special keywords one is import and other one is export this import indicates to import the existing class which is the class you want to use it you have to import it into your own class export if you write export so that this class can be used in some other class okay some other file so now this person is not depend on any other but i want to use this in some other classes so i have to write export keyword here so export class person so that this i can use this person in some other javascript file okay fine and then um employee so let me grab the employee on this employee class you copy and paste it here but here what about this person how can you access the person is you will write an import statement import like this person uh from uh where is the file name so dot slash i think dot dot slash um persons folder slash person dot js okay so you're gonna import any person in this way i mean you, any any class you wanna use it you can import it this way so import person from this location so person is available and you're gonna use this here uh fine this is called employee so let's make it for customer so let me um copy the customer and also one more thing this employee i want to use it in some other class so i just say export okay fine and lastly customer so let me copy the customer and uh, use it here i want to export this because i want to use it the customers in some other class some other file and let's make import uh what person uh from sorry from dot dot slash um persons slash person dot js okay so this call export this call import fine so we have a separate separate um what you call uh, files right but i want to use all these things in one class one file that's called app.js okay so how to use that um before you use these separate uh, modules inside this app.js one extra thing you have to do is in your index.js uh, along with the script if you're using a module type you just say type module so this is an extra you have to write because i'm going to using a modules concept so this i only configure app.js i'm not configuring any other javascript so but if you want to use this module concept of javascript must remember you have to write type equal to module while declaring the main app.js okay and if you see the console nothing is there because in app.js no logic written so let me use them here i going to import first i'm going to import uh, um, employee from employee.js okay so js must and should yeah i imported employee now what to do i'm going to create a class i'm i'm going to create an object so let's employee is equal to new employee i'll just pass it as a john and doi and 40 years and uh, designation as um, senior manager okay so let's say employee dot greet fine so i see i don't have a class so here but i this class is imported from some other js file and so see here see you got john doe age and designation this is actually concept called 
module so let me import another class so let's say import uh, the customer from customer dot js and let's create a customer object so let customer is equal to new customer so here just say um laura again wilson comma some 28 years and um location is um okay let's take india okay fine so let's take a uh, customer dot greet so customer dot greet you got miss lara h and location okay fine so this is actually a clear and clean separation between uh, the your actual application logic okay and uh, if you want to do any changes just directly go and do some changes in person classes clear separate and employees clear separate and person uh, customer everything separate and we can use them import over here okay so how can you achieve the module concept is we are using the import and export and one more thing is you have to configure type module for your main file so this this is considered as a main file so we're going to add is type module okay so that's it uh, that's a concept about javascript modules and thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video and please subscribe to my channel thank you